Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Now, going on the many, many things that uh, have happened with the Reimu thing, um, we're going to just go little by little on things. I mentioned before, it's the last Nidhi Sanji media that I consume as fellow South American. I'm happy to see Reimu got a 3D, wishing her the best. Yes, it is very good for her to have her 3D stream finally. Thank you so much for making me the happiest ghost of all. You've given me so many special memories. Let's keep making more. And happy memories like this, happy moments like this. Yes, I am a, a, a news channel. Yes, I have been focusing on Niji Sanji, the company itself. But I've always said the livers deserve the best. The livers deserve happiness. The livers, like Reimu, deserve to have a good place to work. Respect, sink the yacht. Curious, but what is about that pushed you over the edge? Uh, it's probably just all the stuff that's been happening, really. Os, yeah, O seven. 7 uh, here is some other stuff with Reimu. She got around 13, uh, 376 people at the max. And she kept them for quite a while. She kept them from 10, oh, like the, the max max, but she went above 10K from 10, 10 to about 11, 20. And then it dropped because she was ending, of course. That's, that's around the time that everything drops. When you're ending, people just leave. So that's nothing negative on her. It's nothing saying anything bad about her, but it sucks that they weren't able to get uh, even better. Doesn't seem like the Nidhi fans threw much money her way either. Taking a look at this, 1676. Of course, it sucks because Reimu seems to be one of the good ones. Uh, and it says previous record was Millie at 14.4. Uh, Reimu seems to be one of the good ones, at least one of the ones that's not getting themselves into a lot of drama. So it does suck to see this happen. Uh, it is a big oof moment, uh, but I don't blame her. I blame the company more than anything. And like I say, Reimu hasn't seemed to have gotten into any kind of big uh, kerfuffle, any big stuff. So I'm not knocking her down. Mume Radio, 13755, which was basically a repeat of a lot of the hits that Mume did. Uh, all the, you know, karaoke, previous karaoke hits. Raymundo, the back is real, uh, and 13376. I think it's just because right now EN is suffering. If EN wasn't suffering so much, I'm pretty sure the uh, CCV would have been much higher. So I don't take this as something against Raymu. I take it as something against the company. At this point would be surprising if Niji won any Vs versus Hollow. Uh, Niji losses are predictable as the sun rising in the east. Uh, Vox winning against some, not even all of them, Hollow ID girls, which was hilarious since Hollow ID usually has the lowest CCV of all branches in Hollow, and Vox is a literal golden boy of Niji EN, which is very true. It's Hollow Live, this shouldn't be a surprise. More surprised Reimu have that many viewers. I'm glad that Reimu had that many viewers because that means that she's still being supported. Like I said, support the staff, support the, not, not the staff, but support the actual livers. Don't support the company itself. There's a no Reimu post in the main thread for her 3D. Pretty sure I've seen at least some posts for the other girls. She wasn't being supported, which sucks. Um, can't even put well into the background of anything Niji, and that's the problem with it. Probably not true statistics-wise, or she might have wanted to be in that position. Highly likely I'm imagining it. Like It could be that there is uh, you know, a, a favoritism going on. Could be that it's just they're not doing very good with uh, supporting st uh, staff and supporting... Um, you know, people like Ray Muendo. It's a person says, as far as I know, I had the lowest CCV and painful amount of supas. Uh, here's Ray Muendo again. 21K likes for something posted on a an actual, you know, Twitter post versus three thirteen three eight eight. Like I said, still very high, still higher than than a lot of people expected. Makes those go support your own Oshi deflection comments super iconic, ironic because they don't even do that either. I've always been an issue to be fair, not just needy sisters, but it's easier to push it like a like button than actually tune into a stream. Problem like this has existed since YouTubers started Twitter. That's very true. Uh, moving on, guys, it's time. It's Reimu time, you know, Peter Pandora, try to push it. Uh, she's not necessarily Pandora. She's not necessarily the best person to push this type of stuff right now because of just the sheer lack of uh, enjoyment that people have with anything that she says. Uh, in fact, it may even hurt instead of helping, but it, I'm glad that they at least tried to do something to help. Uh, it's time to support Fomoko Bao Bao. Uh, Bao Bao, Bausum, 12K CCV counting, not going to lie. She's doing a lot better than the other girls. Still kind of low for 3D debut. Considering Niji's current state, that's effing great. By comparison, Fuamoko are both around 16k right now. It's a difference, yes, but not as big as, as any of us imagined. But still, yeah. And one final good thing that happened to Reimuendo, still, I'm talking about, you know, the 3D live, because I want to cover every side of the 3D live, not just the negative parts. Nurse and Reimu are friends and already collabed together, but Kali didn't expect it at all. Well, it's nice to see Grim Reaper, Demoness, and Ghost together in heck. 
Reimu's been a deadbeat ever since, even way before she was Reimu. So it's basically a gift for Reimu. So Kali, you know, came in clutch and did a gift for Reimu by being in there with her. I believe Anna was also a deadbeat before she was Anna. At least she got pretty far on, on the Can You Please R.I.P. competition Kali made for her debut. Uh, it would have been great if some members of the Pizzaia was able to attend it. Uh, this is good. More support and connections that they have outside of the company is better. Exactly. Uh, the staunch believers guilty by association and guilty by proven innocent are here. That's why I subscribe to this particular post. Stop deleting y'all's comments, cheeky bastards. Two people, some people said two more bully supporters to block. As far as I know, none of these three are bullies. None of these three are supporting what Ilira has done or what Vox has done or what Ike has done. Uh, it's not guilty by association. Don't do that. That makes the, 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 the critiques ring hollow if you try to make people also guilty by association. So don't do that. I'm just trying to show a little bit of everything here. Hello, everybody, and happy 5th of May. Cinco de Mayo to you. And here we go. We start with this one. Well, should have, what should have been Nidhi's greatest month has passed. Rainbow's 3D concluded. Uh, Nidhi's Mario Kart event did subpar. AR Live didn't do very well, as we all know. Uh, five 3D lives from Petra and Reimu, each having less concurrent viewers than the last. Shout out to Petra for riding the wave of Holofest and still having some somewhat successful stream. She wasn't riding the wave. She was just kind of doing it at a time when she knew it would work. Having Kyo somehow pop back into the Congratulate NS3D um, shows how long it was recorded ago. Virtual Rhapsody didn't do very well with the, the crowds, the line issues, everything like that. Illyria and Vox returned to the Black uh, River to stream with an audience less than 1K. Both also went to Billy Billy, and I didn't, I didn't, Ilira didn't do so well. And um, she has dropped below 550k subs on her YouTube channel. There was drama, including Luca Kaneshiro's document from Raziel, and then Aya's speeches about staying within the company and stay and uh, on their thoughts. One was uh, well said and was supported by this side. The other was taken out of context and twisted to be cynical. The whole uh, Anna being, well, someone that uh, doesn't have a, too much of a filter caused her to have issues. Michi's tweet revealed that her previous employer, most likely Nidhi Sanji, could have been someone else, but everyone thinks it's Nidhi Sanji, including myself, uh, had mass miscommunication that almost cost her a lot of money and almost got her in trouble with the government. Uh, while no proof besides the viewer's confirmation, a 4chan post revealed Vivi's member stream had her complained about troubles within her life. More about money she needs. I don't know about the validity of this because it could be a rat. It could be something taken out of context. Um, in general, sometimes when you just are just having a bad month, everything can pile on each other. And then one last thing can just break the, the, the shawl that broke the camel's back and make you sob make you just you know lose it for that moment so it could have been anything could have been anything and that's all i remember so far in conclusion april was jam-packed with in, with stuff that should have been helping out nidhi sanji but didn't really help out nidhi sanji let's see what a couple people here think inside will never again trust as long as they are uh trying to keep it under the rug but then it's too late to do anything now the time frame for formal apology has long passed yes it has they should have apologized right immediately any new livers who end up joining the en side They'd be taking time bombs. I'm sure that there would be applicants who will join AG and clear ulterior motives and to expose them in the background, but who knows how far those will go, of course. Person doesn't see this person here doesn't see Nidhi Sanji uh, joke in JP community as often as before these days, maybe because there have been too many disasters to be described with that one word. You know, in, both sides have been having a lot of bad stuff, more the EN side than the JP side, but JP side has suffered a bit from the EN side. You can only make a book of Nidhi Sanji's disasters if they keep making mistakes. I wish they wouldn't. I mean, it. my my whole channel is about Nidhi mistakes, but I mean, because I want positive things to happen for the livers, you know, I wish that they would do better for the livers at least. Sai synchronicity, as we all know, many of us already know, uh, had some... Uh, fun recently with her Pokemon Infinite Fusion and new model because she got 100k. She was super surprised that she had gotten 100k. I'm super surprised that she got 100k, but I'm very happy that she got it because she's one of those people that deserves that. She deserved it since she was Zion. She deserves it now. And I'm glad, happy that she got it. And she created a new model, which was this. It has extended wings and everything, but she, you know, she can do the little smug face. She can do all that kind of stuff. She can, um, she said that now she looks her age, which is, you know, the 3D retro stuff. She said she's going to be doing a lot more retro games as well. So let's go Sayu. Pixelated Sayu, Pixel Sayu. Now she looks perfect in 144p. If you are guys watching her there that way, now she looks perfect. Next is this person made a, you know, Pokemon trainer thing. It says Pokemon trainer Sayu Synchronicity would like to battle. And uh, who knows what type of trainer she would be. Let's see if anyone can figure it out. Um, would she be champion elite four, gym leader? She'd probably be a gym leader, a, a team leader, in my opinion, because, you know, she is the crazy Sayu that we know. And finally, uh, besides, you know, Sayu getting it, uh, Michi Mochi V also got it. So people outside of Nidhi Sanji are getting a lot of 
lovely things, a lot of lovely uh, attention that they deserve, that everyone deserves. Um, and I'm glad that, again, Sayu has gotten this. Needy Shanji charging for $50 for meet and greet at Anime Impulse. Meanwhile, Mint at Offkai. He says, meet and greet lottery dates will be opening soon. Minto is free, so you have no reason to cut, not come see me. So she's doing meet and greet, free meet and greets. So uh, apparently a lot of you, you know people, they do. Uh, 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 you know, meet and greets where they're expensive, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, like Niti Sanji, etc. For only like two minutes. And there are other people that are just happy to see fans. Like if I did a meet and greet, I probably would only charge like $1. <laughs> just for, just to say that I charge something. Like if, if because uh, some places do have a minimum charge. They have like, you have to charge something in order for a meet and greet to be done. So I'll charge like a buck. I don't even know if anybody will pay a dollar to see me. But, you know, I'll charge like a dollar just be, in case if I have to have a minimum. If, if I don't have to have a minimum, then I'll just have it be free. Because, of course, who the heck is going to watch this little squirrel? But it says, to be fair, I need to be forced to charge 50 bucks for reasons. Yes, reasons. All in the name of the yacht. Repair work is incredibly expensive. Kind of concerned not for Mint, but for the effing line, it'll be insane. To be fair, Mint is a bit of an outlier sort of thing. I get charging for meet and greets, and Min is kind of a boss for doing this instead, no pun intended. Although, also to be fair, Nidhi Sanji isn't just charging 50 bucks for meet and greet, they're charging 50 bucks per minute for up to three minutes. So that's the difference. And that's, you know, that's something that Iron Mouse is going to talk about as well. The fact that she doesn't like charging for meet and greets. That's why she doesn't do meet and greets a lot of times. Like right here. I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not going to say which conventions, but there have been, there have, I've been asked to charge an amount which i think which i'm like they already paid to get to the con and now they have to try they have to pay this much to talk to me for five minutes that is so fucked stuff which i probably I, I might get in trouble for talking about but i don't care because i think it's fucked up that they're charging people a lot of fucking money when they already charge for a ticket to get into the convention and True. it just it I doesn't feel right to me especially if the person has to wait for hours in a fucking line to come and talk to me and they can only talk to me for like one fucking minute of their time i just think that is so fucked up i hate it i hate it and that's why you haven't seen me in conventions <laughs> because i just really don't want to charge and people don't like that i don't want to charge and that's that <laughs> and that's the part <clears throat> that i understand as i said that simple answer she's not nidhi sanji the point i made in previous thread some people disagree with me it's pretty scummy to charge big money for meet and greets when they had to pay for admission tickets for off which costs 95 bucks for a weekend iron moss is keeping it real many of the talents make tons of money and the money they make for meet and greets would be nothing while most of the fans and attendees don't have the luxury of 50 dollars for a meet and greet that's true I can see that, especially if I'm like, it's like a big con where it's like 50 bucks per day or something like that. If you are taking the time and effort to come to see me at a con, I will do my best to not charge. Even if it has to come out of my own pocket, I'll do my best to not charge. Because like, like I said, if anything, I'll charge like 50 cents or something like that. If like the, the cons are like, I have to charge money. Okay, 50 cents then. 50 cents. There you go. Anyone can afford 50 cents. And if not, I will cover the damn charge. Like if there's someone that can't freaking pay it, I'll cover the damn 50 cents. Freaking A, dude. Like I'll cover the damn charge for you guys. That's how much I want to see fans. That's how much I would want to see people, you know? If I, if I, if I have to cover the damn charges myself, I'll cover the damn charges myself. All right, here we go. And happy Cinco de Mayo as well. I feel like this speaks on where Nidhi Sanji's support is. Let's take a look. We have Shuya Mino. 628 Vox Hungers uh novel The Demon Hungers 5342 Noctix 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 yeah hey at least this one is 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 doing very well in sales Shu deserves the sales Shu actually does, does deserve the sales Shu has not had any big controversy as far as I know the only one is I think he was complaining about management back in the day but nothing new as far as I know so yeah a lot of this is Noctix and Luxium and uh that's where the support tends to be more than anything um and you know that's, that's, that's the most popular one, sis. They're Golden Boys. Today, I learned Nidhi Sandy publicly ranks their merch sales. Just like how they allow us to sort livers based on their sub count and their official website. This only serves to pit livers against each other. That's the issue. It makes it a competition. Instead of it being like, you know, a community or a family or whatever you want to call it, as weird and maybe cringe as that may sound to you guys, you want to make it more a community, more like a grouping of people on the same company instead of something that is competing against each other. Scary move to expose the sales of your libraries like that. Now investors and fans pressure you to remove the unpopular one and milk the popular one harder. The source is this one, sales rankings. Welcome to Nidhi Sanji, the boy, VTuber, the boy band VTuber company. Technically servant voice, um, group B female voices, but one of the bonuses that comes with a hot dude's background, wallpaper. Roth Mao is also representing the boy band side. And this is actually from their Nidhi Sanji store. So this is the actual one. It isn't someone making a meme about it. It isn't someone making something up about it. It is an actual one. This isn't favoritism, it's freaking Battle Royale. And that is not good for the livers. It's not good for the sanity of the livers. It's not good for the stress levels of the livers. Then you wonder, like, if you're not at the top, then you might wonder that maybe you're going to start getting less support. You know, that kind of stuff. It's not good to pit livers against each other. 
I already made that criticism about another company recently, Nexus, doing that kind of stuff too. So it's not good. Treat your livers better. That's all I want from Nidisanti. Treat your livers better. Don't pit them against each other like this. For this Cinco de Mayo, we're just doing regular memes because I can't find any Cinco de Mayo memes that's related to Nidisanti news. So happy Cinco de Mayo, the Battle of Puebla. All that kind of good, good stuff. Here's Nidhi Sandy saying, you are nothing without us, but let us transform you. Metamorphosis. If you guys know this, this is an H manga that is, um, it's brutal. It's brutal. Nidhi Sandy's trajectory itself has been like an anime arc. Zion fulfilled their lore as a prophet warning of a dark future. Dark future, not Earth, but for Nidhi Sandy itself. Selene's termination ignited long-standing grievances into a raging inferno that could no longer be ignored. As the world of any color burned, Illyra also fulfilled her lore by finally betraying her now-terminated dragon sister. The only thing that Zion's prophecy missed was that amid the fiery trial, a new world with new agencies and indies would arise and reward those talents that had behaved ethically in renewed future. To top things off, this all this time we were told Nidhi Sandy was the place where livers were truly free to be themselves, unlike Hololive where they had to strictly behave like idols. Oh, how the tables have turned and the lies have unraveled. Sayu herself said, it played out like an anime. Down here it says, for the overall picture, yeah, but inside Nidhi Sandy is still metamorphosis. People are still lied to, defending the company, etc., etc. It's just, it's going bad, yeah. Uh, just held hostages against leaving. I think there have been empty promises and threats against people leaving, just blackmailing those dark stories. Yeah, it's a bad times, bad times. Jump scare for Uki. Yes, we all know Uki does not like the color white. Does not like the color white at all. And here we have a Hollow Stars as a color white. Ah, jump scare! <laughs> Calming scene, jump scare! Wait until he finds out about Battle 2. Exactly. And here we have another little meme of some things I wanted to post based on the reputation of both Hololive and Nidisanji. Good burb, evil burb. Well, a burb that doesn't that doesn't have a filter. We'll just call it that. I don't call it evil necessarily. Uh, honest demon, lying demon. That uh, that I can get behind. That I can get behind. Toe is like an inverse Lucifer, demon that got expelled to heaven for being too good. Yes, she was Maji Tenshi, I believe. Maji Tenshi. Toa Maji Tenshi, I believe is what they, they call it, uh, TMT, because she's kind of like an angel as well. It reminded him of this, the the, the whole thing here, and he yeah, <laughs> Dark Luigi and the regular Luigi, oh god. Uh, these are like Friday Night Funkin' Luigi's, I believe. So these are kind of interesting. I, I, I think it's Friday Night Funkin', uh, legs in the effing hand, way out of proportion. Yeah, exactly, the hands are out of proportion too. Look at that hand, that hand is huge. Look at that, the hand's bigger than his head. You don't do that. You don't do that. It's the hand, like extended hand, should only be from your chin to your forehead, not like extended like that. Anybody who knows art can tell me differently if it's if if I have it wrong. But from what I know, your your extended hand, your tip of your thumb to the tip of your your um your forefinger should be like only from like your chin to your 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 forehead. A CEO who's same wavelength as his employees. Uh, they had uh face connects uh Kamina Clara. Kaminari Clara had, you know, that down there, as you can see, and someone put uh, Sakana Fishman there. They both went, no! <laughs> they both reacted the exact same way, but they're on the same wavelength. But this uh, Coma Archive uh, did something, did a funny, did a funny. Love it. Absolutely love when people do funnies like this. And the final one, uh, it, Mentally Ill Man is Mentally Ill Women First Corporation. And the final one is, of course, a quote-unquote new Vishojo member, which is... Um, this is most likely Parrot 4chan's thing. Uh, Mom, can we have Parrot? No, we have Parrot at home. Parrot at home. Oh, no, I'm getting called out already. Uh, wait a minute. This is not Parrot. This is Macaw. Okay, there's another one. This is a Macaw. It's a Parrot. Parrot at home. It's a Macaw, but a Parrot type thing. It's basically a Nidhi Sanji um, uh, 4chan reading, which they're always hilarious. And that's why I wanted to show it to you guys as well. Fubuki is a huge pillar of Hololife. It is, no lie, one of the biggest pillars of Hololife that I have seen. It is... They are Fubuki. She is amazing. She started very early on, and she was the reason why Hollow Gamers was created. I believe it was Fubuki Mio Mio Korne Korne Okayu. Like in in the in the people recommending Fubuki recommended Mio Mio recommended Korne Korne recommended Okayu. As far as I know, they all became Hollow Gamers, which is supposed to be focused on gaming only. And um, when it came to things that were happening in the China one, like this person is going to mention here, it, it's referring to the Shirakami's declaration. During the Coco Taiwan incident, where West, West Taiwan got angry, some fans were accusing a cover of being unfair towards Coco when they suspended her. Also, lots of rumors about cover mistreating its talents, driven by skeptic fans and also antis. Fubuki denied the accusations and declared that if cover ever mistreats or is unfair towards the talents in any way, 
she'll be out the door first. So she became like a canary in the coal mines type of situation where a canary in the coal mine is basically a, uh, they used to use canaries in coal mines specifically because a canary would pass away when there was less oxygen, when, uh, or gas, noxious gases were happening. So that's the canary in the coal mine thing. Denied the accusations and declared if Carmen treats her unfair talents in any way, she'll be there out the door. This was Shirakami's declaration, which became like an article of faith for a lot of fans during very turbulent time for cover. To this day, Fubuki is viewed by a lot of older fans as something like a canary in the coal mine in terms of treatment of the talents. As long as Fubuki is around and happy, the fans can trust that cover isn't mistreating their talents. As for Niji Yen, I believe that Selene was much of a figure. Before the termination, there was an air of things might be bad, but Selene is still Niji, then it might not be that bad among the fans. When Niji went and did what they did to her, whatever implicit faith the fans placed in the company in Lua Selene was completely lost, hence the exodus. I've seen some JP Hollow fans comment during the height of the Selene meltdown that if hypothetically Cover did that to Fubuki, what uh, any color did to Selene, there might have been a similar reaction. Like, I would have left. If Fubuki would have left, I would have left. Because that's honestly not good, like, for a company to do that. Being Fubuki, also in times like these, proceeds to summon the self-proclaimed Hollow Life fan. So, yeah. Uh, if I turn a bit around, I can describe her in other ways. Soul Inquisitor of Hollow Life, Nora Star, the one that sleeps, the Watcher. Uh, she decides to leave Hollow Life. We all know that it's a bad thing. She said it herself. As long as I'm here, you can trust Hollow Life. And as long as she is there, I will trust in Hollow Life. She has been the one who has marked, like when Ruchia left, when others left, she's been the pillar of strength for a lot of people. She's a cutely smiling friend, Fox. She's a cutely smiling, not waifu, but friend. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.